Hello, in this video I would like to introduce our newest uh, LifeWell iRater timer. It's configurable via Wi-Fi, means via the phone or computer. And it allows you to run the pump at different speeds. So it has a cycling uh, uh, phases, phase one and phase two, and you can configure them to run at the different uh, duty cycles. So you can configure the pump to run, let's say, for a period of time, for 10 seconds, and then stop for a period of time completely or you can run the pump at 50% uh, power and then drop to 30% cycle so it's all configurable via the phone and I'm going to show you how so first of all uh, connecting the timer is very simple you connect the power to the red wire the yellow goes to your pump and pump goes and other end goes to the ground the Wi-Fi enable uh, switch is connected to the white wire and the black is connected to the ground the green and the blue are optional and you can use those to connect them to the switch and override the duty cycle at any point. So there are two duty cycles that you can change that you can set and override the timer at any point. So for example, if you're running your timer uh, your pump at the lower, let's say 50% and 30% cycles, you want to you want to override to 100 percent you can configure the blue wire to be hundred percent and you can configure, for example, the green wire to be ten percent. So let's connect the timer to the pump and see how we can configure it via the phone. So I have a simple pump here, commonly used for the aerators. And I have a power supply, which is 9 volt battery here. So I'm going to connect a, a black, is a negative to the black from power supply, red to red. This is input power. Yellow is the output. So I'm going to use a lead from the pump. Yellow goes to the yellow and black goes to the ground. Okay, so we're going to supply the power and the pump runs at some speed and then it switches off to the lower uh, duty cycle. But to configure the timer is we're going to take the white wire and short it to the ground and that enables the, the timer. It creates a Wi-Fi network called timers.shop and you can connect to that network from your phone. So I'm gonna use the uh, phone and connect to that network. So I'm going to a network uh, menu. I'm going to the network menu and I'm finding a timer.shop network. I'm connecting to that uh, network and then I'm opening the browser and in the, the address bar i'm going to address i'm entering the address 192.168.4.1 and i'm going to click go and this is our uh, front page for the aerator timer so if i go to the edit configuration menu i see the configuration for the timer so my period uh, one is set to uh, five seconds so it will be running for five seconds at the 80% duty cycle. Then it will run for 10 uh, seconds at the 30% uh, percent duty cycle. Instead of the 10 seconds, it jumps back to the 80%. So it's gonna run between 80 and 30% duty cycles. My green wire is configured for the 10% override um, and the blue wire is uh, for 20%. So as soon as you connect the blue wire or the green wire to the power, the timer is going to override the duty cycle to one of those two so this is how you can change it you can basically enter the your uh, uh, number of seconds uh, and change it to any number of seconds and then you click save and it saves this uh, configuration into the timer and then now we can uh, we can run it so if i'll turn the power off and turn the power back on it runs for one second, for one second at the high duty cycle, and then uh, runs at the lower percent of the, uh, then runs for 10 seconds at the lower percent. Okay, so another, another feature is uh, when you connect to the Wi-Fi network and you connect to the interface, let me do that one more time.
so I connected the, to the interface you can test your pump response so we're going to go to the test uh, pump uh, duty cycle so we currently set at 50 so this is pump runs at 50 duty cycle we can override it we can say I want to run at 100% So now it runs at 100%. So this is how you can test it. Obviously, pump needs to be in the water, so uh, you can see the uh, water flow. But this is how you can test initially to what duty cycle you want to set your pump to. Because the response between the duty cycle and output of your pump would be, uh, it depends on uh, your power supply, depends on your pump, and depends on your overall setup. So if I'll set it to 30%, you probably can hear that pump runs at uh, really low. I can go at 10%. And this is how you can save the battery and reduce. Now it runs at really low speed because first of all, we're supplying a nine volt batteries and a nine volt and the uh, pump is uh, designed for the 12 volt. But this is basically how you can test it at what uh, duty cycle you want to run your uh, pump. And then uh, I'm going to the configuration menu and uh, uh, and set up the proper duty cycles. So if I go back to the menu again, and uh, I would say that I want to run for one second, and then I want to run for three seconds at really low speeds, so I can change it from, uh, let's say I want to run 100%, initially and then I want to drop to a 30% duty cycle uh, and that's it and I'm just gonna click save and now I can test it so I'm going to turn the power off turn the power back on and it will run for one second at full speed and then three seconds at lower speed so this is how you can uh, configure your uh, pump to run at uh, uh, various cycles and now if I need to override the duty cycle I can uh, connect the green wire to the ground I'm sorry to the power and it's gonna run at uh, at 20 percent or 10 percent whatever it was set up so the blue wire connecting to the power will drop the, uh, the duty cycle not drop it uh, override it so now if you would connect the white wire to the ground and then supply power, it will also create a Wi-Fi network, but the menu would be slightly different. So if I'll go and re reconnect to the network and I'm going back to the, my menus, you'll see that it will give you a separate menu. So this is for, for updating the firmware. And this is allows us to uh, create a custom uh, uh, first of all uh, provide additional features in the future or provide some custom uh, uh, patterns uh, for the pump control uh, that's it thank you so much